Gucci YouTube, Zoomini or Revolt Wolf here, bring you a tutorial on what I like to call scope animations, you just saw that, and um, so I'm going to try to get this done quick because there's a lot to talk about and I don't have a partnership, so I can't have a video longer than 15 minutes, so you know, get to rating, help me get to that partnership. Anyways, the first thing we're going to want to do is add sync markers, if you don't know how to add sync markers, I'll put annotation in the video right now, showing my last tutorial, where it will show you how to do that. So. I'm just going to show you an example of what I did. I use lights in the sky, and every two bumps is where my scope is going to pop up. So, I don't know why it's taking forever to render out. If it's just audio, my computer is really slow. So, see that I didn't turn off my. Sorry about that. So yeah, the scopes are synced, um, if you saw in the preview, I don't know if you noticed. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add a marker to our first shot. Alright, so it's before this. And let's find that first shot. Uh, you'll be able to see what the first shot is because it'll have like a little flash. Nate, can you open that door for this stupid cat? Oh, sorry, I was talking to my brother. So uh, I think that's good enough. And I'm gonna add that after my last bump. Since they close the door. Every time I add a bump is after every two frames, so here's the first bump, second bump, third bump, fourth bump. We'll put it about here. So yeah, that's where we'll put it, so we'll go back to that. And we'll just split the layer. If you don't know how to split layer, go to edit and then uh, split layer. So now what we're gonna do is go to that fifth one where that fifth pump would be again. And I just hit that first bracket to line it up perfectly. And next thing what we're gonna do is cut out our little scope. So we wanna split the layer where the first where you first see the scope, fully see the scope. So let's go a little few more keyframes. It should be coming up soon. Right here. So let's put the layer here. And now what we're gonna do is add some time remapping. Right click it, time enable time remapping, add a keyframe here. Before we do this, let's move this around to our liking. Say we want to start the scope in, zooming in here. We'll put it here, so let me just move this little thing over. Oops, hit the right half bracket to line that up. And so we have that first uh, frame, keyframe, and we want to get that last keyframe. So see there, since it was all black, you obviously know this is the last keyframe. Grab it. And we're gonna move it on the way over here. So go back. Since that sword's all black, you're gonna move this key from here. And now I think that would be good. And we delete this marker. Then you just slide this over. And to easily cut this little layer, just Alt, right bracket, cuts it off. So let's add some. We don't need motion, I think. So now we have our little slow mo of the clip actually on it before the first shot. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh make a new adjustment layer. How we make an adjustment layer? You just go to whoops, you go to layer new adjustment layer, and you want to have this adjustment layer above your color correction if you had one. Like here's mine, and so now what we're gonna do is get look for transform. Just search it right here in effects and presets. Add it onto the adjustment layer. If you wanna um, name the adjustment layer, I'll just put scope animation. So 
next thing we're gonna do is go to that first bump and keyframe is scaling next thing we're gonna do now is get our little pen tool and make a mask so we can start here you want to cut a quarter of the composition hold shift right here to make a straight line go up and here we go so now that our mask is made skip a next keyframe because you know you want it you had that first one at 100 you always have to make sure you have that first keyframe 100 before you start the bump so this last one it's keyframe at 100 you go to the next one and now you just bump up the scope maybe let's try 120 I think 120 is good and maybe skip over about 10 frames 5 you know uh, instead of doing my bump every two bumps I mean my screen screen pop up every two bumps in the song I'll do it every every single one so go over about five frames and put this back to a hundred and now you have like a little transition made here see that bump so what we could do now is trim this layer oh left bracket to cut the first half and then uh let's go previous keyframe well let's go to the first keyframe possible just right click go to previous keyframe so if this is the first keyframe we we'll want to cut it up here well and then that first bracket now we're going to go to that last keyframe we made just go to next it's going to be 120 and then go to next again and it's going to go back to 100 and split this up and press all right bracket now what we're going to do is go to that second little marker duplicate this you could duplicate is command d if you're on a mac or go to edit duplicate and with that first uh, bracket tool again line it up and go to that next frame where the bump up should start and what we're gonna do now is go back to your little mouse tool selection tool and just move this one move the path over see a new bumps right there go to the third and then just duplicate this layer again make sure you have your um, layer selected by the way or else you're gonna duplicate the effect so duplicate again use my little trusty first bracket tool and we're gonna move the shape again to this corner and let's see if it works there's the bump up select that layer again duplicate sorry if this part is a little boring but you know, just deal with it there it is again nope there's the bump up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh pause the video and render it out a little bit see so you guys could see it uh, pause me just render this a bit alright guys I'm just about rendering the little scope animation so let's see how this came out it looks pretty nice if you ask me let me just fix up this little time remapping here so go to this bump get that keyframe move it over Sorry if you guys copied me exactly. And then we'll just... I'll use my favorite little brackets again. And we'll line this up. There we go. So, that's pretty much it when it comes to bumping. You could add some twitch to it if you want. But I won't be showing you settings for that right now. Because that'll make this tutorial a bit longer. I'll make another twitch tutorial later. So, the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is... Um, render a song. Oh uh, wait, first let's add a little shot here. I mean, not render a song, render a video, my bad. I have stuttering problems, sort of. 
Don't judge me. So, all you gotta do is get this little tool and move it to wherever you seek necessary. I'll just put it right here because that's all I want you guys to see, really. And so, next, we're gonna do is uh, once you have that, go to composition, add to render cube. Next, go to I'm gonna show you my render settings. Alright, so have all this, just pause the video. Um, something I recommend to make the render go faster. Put the go to use this frame rate and use 29.97 because when you upload to YouTube, it's gonna downgrade it to 29.97 either way. So you might as well do it. It won't change your edit at all. Um, so once all that is taken care of, see if there's anything that you guys need to see. I think that was about it. And here's the other settings for output mode. Now this is what's a little bit custom. These are my favorite settings if you're on a Mac. Um, I know Windows people can use something a little bit different, so I'm just click it to show you guys. First thing first, change your format to H.264. Leave this the same. Make sure you have audio output checked. Go to format options. And this is what you're going to change. Profile on high. Level 5.1. Bitrate encoding CBR and 268 for your number. Uh, Audio, here's AAC, high, 128, bitrate, multiplexer, MP4, stream compatibility standard. If you guys want to know how to save these settings, all you got to do is click this, make template, label it, YouTube, or something like that, and there you go. Uh, output, you know, this is where you want to save it. And basically, that's my render settings. Try them out. Uh, if you like this effect, leave you know rate it. You can leave a video response if you like. Say I wanted to save it here. Scope animation. Save. And then hit render. Thanks guys for watching my video.